Senhor Kevlar. Guido Gabetti, police. What can I do for you, Commandatore? Ah, solo ispettore, uh, for the moment. Uh, but with your help. About what? Several things. But we begin with uh, Don Battista Altamura. What about Don Battista? We, uh, in the Giudizia, do not like what happened to him. He's a greatly respected lawyer, an old friend. It's like, well, uh, like attacking a policeman. I agree. I thought you would. We've questioned him, of course, but uh, he answers nothing. Do you think I could tell you more? I'll give you three reasons why a man won't talk to the police. One is fear. Two, antipathy. We know that these do not apply to Don Batista. And the third? He is uh, covering up for someone. Meaning me? Your reputation goes before your senior temper. You flatter me. Only if you work with us. But I'm sure you will. I promise. Good. You see, uh, someone tampered with the evidence in Ubaldo's villa. No. Yes, the gun, the bottle of champagne, the glasses. Uh, wipe it free of fingerprints. By the murderer. By you, perhaps. <laughs> You're joking. I warn you. Scusi, signore. I warn you. Do not take the law into your own hands. Even with the Guapo Fortunati. Fortunati. See, si, Fortunati. It is said that uh, Venice is uh, sinking into the mud. That is something for the engineers to solve. But when it starts to wallow in the filth of a deported gangster, that is my problem. What are you doing about it? I'm watching and waiting. At the moment, I have only a suspicion. Without proof, my hands are tied. And you uh, want me to furnish that proof? I would light 12 candles to you if you could. Hmm? You, you are known as the saint. Oh. All right, I'll do my best. Thank you. By the way, why does Fortunati have his knife into Kathy Allardyce? Why not uh, ask John Allardyce? He's on his way back to Venice. Yes, I know. I suggested it. Ciao, Svetori. Arrivederci.